Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, um, I'm going to be showing you how, well, we're going to be doing it together because I haven't done this before, but here's what I want to do. I bought these batteries. It's for this LT, um, LT150, I, oh, I'm sorry, LT105, a little mini quad. These little 600 milliamp batteries work for it. On Amazon, I picked up six batteries and this charger uh, I was like 20 bucks of course the link will be in the description for that product um, and what I want to do is it comes with a charger that you charge over USB and I don't want to use that but it is a parallel charger so I thought well I'll just use this and um, make my own charger connection you know so I can use my regular charger to charge these up so anyway we're going to take it apart, figure out what we need to do to uh, hook this up to my charger. I got everything I need here. I got my cable. I got wire if I need wire, solder, PD, or a PCB that I may have to put in here. So let's get to it. Okay, so first I'm going to take these batteries off here. Set those aside. Take this thing apart. Okay. Inside, the chip, the board that it's already on has circuitry, obviously, that when it gets to the charged voltage, it will shut off and stop charging. I want my charger to take care of that, so that's why I'm going to have to mount the plugs onto this board. So no big deal. We'll get started on that.
here is where we have to decide how are we going to do see how are we going to run our traces we have to hook up our hook up our power and then run that in the correct uh, path to all the connectors and remember we're doing it in parallel so that just means that power goes to each power we could run power 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 all the way around or we can just split it off both sides um, and then negative goes to each one and goes all the way around but they don't reconnect like in serial a serial connection would have ran all these together right back to the power in the ground what we're actually saying basically from here it goes straight out and doesn't connect back together so we just gotta figure out how we're gonna map that okay so I think I know how I'm gonna do it what I'm gonna do is on this board I'm going to run power to each one all around the outside and then I'm going to run the negative here on the inside and run it straight up and branch it out to the negative side I can get the solder to connect all these just with the solder, but I don't know how good that's going to be. So I decided I'm going to take a piece of wire, unsheath it, and then just run the wire around um, to connect everything. Now, what I did is I tinned both ends of this wire first because that way when I take off the sheathing, the wire doesn't just go everywhere.
Okay. So, I, I put it together. They stick out just a little bit on this side. And this side, they're really flush. Um, but I just put it together kind of temporarily here to check it all out. I plug in a battery and, man, these things can be kind of a pain anyway, these connectors. But I'm checking to make sure that I can actually plug the batteries in the way everything is. Which it looks like I can. They're just, uh, uh wow. Now see, look. Look what just happened. <laughs> so, I need to make sure that all my connectors are easily accessible. Actually, it looks like what I'll probably start doing, since these are so cheap and easy to break, enough of it sticks out that I can just use my needle nose pliers and grab and pull my batteries out. It'd be easier than, easier than trying to use my big fat fingers. So I think we're pretty much done. Um, what I may do is right here I got a little bit of a gap in this opening. I may put a piece of foam there. Um, may even just use some hot glue. Put some hot glue there. Uh, maybe a little hot glue on the back of the board and then place it in position. And then that's it. Squeeze it together. And there you go. Now you got a parallel port for your six little tiny batteries. And you can plug it into your regular charger and charge it normally. Now if you don't know how to charge on your charger in parallel, I suggest you look up a video and make sure you do it properly because uh, you can easily damage things, catch things on fire. So do that at your own risk. Um, that is it for this video. Like I said, everything is in the description below. Uh, products used. I'll post the, the PCB uh, board that I used. I bought that off Amazon as well. So I'll try to post a link to that. And that's it. The next video, which I'm going to do some videos on this little, little thing. This <laughs> little tiny LT-105, I think it's called. Very cool. Uh, shout out to my brother Chris. I appreciate it. He picked this up for me. He picked us up. He picked up two of them, one for him and one for me. Um, that way we can go do some indoor racing. And then here, of course, is my main project that I was going to do a build video on, but all kinds of crap happened. I ended up not being able to really make a build video. I've got some footage that I'm going to put together. And I'm going to do a video on this, uh, my thoughts on it. This is a completely, I mean, a lot of the parts come from Craze Pony. I'm going to be doing reviews on a lot of their stuff. Um, this is not, uh, all, uh, you know, this is not a kit. I bought everything separately and put it together. And so far it's been freaking amazing. I mean, and it's not top of the line parts either, so... Anyway, we'll do some videos on this soon and get some more flying in. And that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.